Hey, boo boo. What are you doing? You taking it easy? Thursday night dinner. Peaches. Fresh. On the grill. Fresh corn. Sliced off the co cob. Runes. Like in Rush. I don't know what's in here. Beets. They're going away fast, too, them beets are. Can you check and see if there's a fork over there? Crab meat. Coming out of that can right there. Boo boo, you like that crab meat? It's good, huh? <laughs> I like crab meat, he said. I'm a seafood cat. Peaches on a grill. I never had them before. I hear they're absolutely wonderful. Chris had them in Ballhead when she was down there last week. We'll see how they turn out. Back on the fire. My figs are looking a little rough on this side of the tree. I don't know why. The leaves, I got brown spots on them. Some of them. And some of the figs have got dark spots on them, you see? I don't think that's good. They've been here a long time, some of them have, you know, waiting for the summer to arrive. But it seems to be only on this major corner right here. I don't know, maybe some spray got on them or something. But around here, they look beautiful. I take that back. Look at the brown spots right here. It's worse than this one one side here on the north east side. We come around here, they look much better, I think. Oh yeah. You get on this this side of the tree, they're okay. Look at that hole she just dug. Tied a, a my truck could fall in there. She's a hole digging little ticket, I tell you that. I think we're okay. But just on that one side, it looks a little rough. It's breezy today because of that storm. It never has rain though, but they tell him it's really going to rain here in a few minutes. All right, big old Jack. We just got through playing ball. See the breeze, huh? I don't have any reports on Nada today. Nobody I know, I guess, went. Chris has got some jumbo tomato plants. I haven't showed you those, but you know, tomato plants are tomato plants. But well, they're big ones. My buddy Ron has a special going on. I'm not sure if all of my lab dealers have them, but I know he does. You get a 15 inch coil and a new shaft for 200 some bucks. I forgot already. 15 inch foot footprint. Ron De Ghetto. Comes with a shaft. Special. I like it. I call it keeping up with the gig. <laughs> well, there it is. That's a new coil protector on there. Coil strengthener, or whatever you want to call it. Some tape up to here. I got one of Jason's snaps right here. She's ready to go. I already put this on my 11 inch stock coil. I haven't put it on my 6 inch one. I doubt I will, since I use it so infrequently. Maybe we'll get to try this Stiquito out today at low tide. They've been finding a ton of rings in the land of Nala. I mean, a ton. I think there's been, let's see, 8, 9, 10. One of my buddies has found like 20. Another guy's found like a dozen. 
but only one or two gold. Some don't find any gold. But there's lots of rings around, silver and new age. And I guess you saw Steve, that buddy of gigs, that found him two knockout rings. So there's some nice tickets around, but there's a lot of damn junk around. Now, I consider silver junk. Don't get me wrong. Don't get mad. I just don't consider nothing but gold in my detected. You can find all the silver rings and the new age rings, the titanium. Don't mean crap to me. I only want gold, and that's all I care about. Fifteen inch footprint. <laughs> Damn, what a ticket. Well, it's about 5.30. Looks terrible. Been beautiful all day. We supposed to have rain all day. But this figures is when I get ready to go to Texas, it's got to set in like this. We'll see how it goes. We're going to try something different today. But we're not going, but we're just going out front of you. Okay, here we go. Now the changes we're making, we're on top of the bar now. We got a new footprint. We got Jason's coil brace. We got Jason's wire ties. We'll see how that footprint does today. Well, I've dug two targets. One was a piece of brass or steel, maybe part of an outboard motor. I don't, I can't tell what it is. I'll show it to you. The second target was, I don't know if it was so deep I couldn't find it or the coil was too big and I couldn't get it in the hole, but after 25 scoops, I give up. That's one thing I dislike about this coil already. When you get in the water, you can't see it. Hard to dig. Now I think this will be a good scoop in the shallow and the damp. And of course if you're a dry sand hunter, it would be a good dry sand pool. But I got a feeling I'm gonna stick it on the shelf and use it if I go to Nada or someplace like that. Not for around here though. I'm working in and out. Might as well not be working anywhere. There's Bowser. Bowser got him a ball. I found the motor piece right in here. Right in this little break right here. Well, I did dig a third target. I got a little teeny tiny face looking thing about the size of a pencil eraser. And that's it. Big Bowser's right there. Two of them. Actually, three. Or two in the water, though. The other one's taking off. Well, he's going somewhere. Meet that other guy, it looks like. Hey, he changed his mind now. <laughs> he's beating it back this way. Ah, hi, buddy. Some grass around. Not too bad, though. Well, I turned around. Now I'm going back that way. 
Still no targets in the last 15 minutes. Not even one. No gray matter or nothing. Kind of bleak. A really bleak. Hard to believe. Can't find nothing. I know, I take it back. I did find a penny a minute ago. I forgot about that fine ticket. One cent I got. <laughs> well, the sun has popped through the clouds. It's blinding me. I can't hardly see. <laughs> I see these fishermen up here. There's two fishermen right here. You probably can't see them. I did dig a four-ounce gray matter just then. Now fifth, I think that's the sixth, sixth target. Or fifth target, I don't know. I got a bottle cap. It's five. Yeah, that's the sixth target. Four-ounce gray matter. Things are picking up. Are you catching anything? Yeah, I caught a shark. Trout? Yeah, shark, baby shark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby shark. There you go. I found that a minute ago. Put it oh, in your pocket. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And right in front of the new house, you know, with all the steps changes and the new fence and all that, this is what it looks like from the water side. It's way up high. Beautiful. Got a nice view. Got plenty of damn windows in it, too. I guess y'all can see it, okay? Pretty cool house, I think. Modern looking house, you know, not traditional. We got a penny here. No, maybe a nickel. It's jumping around, so it might be a bottle cap. Yeah, it's really jumpy now. Stand by, I'll see what it is. That's a little smiley face looking thing. What? I'm talking to the video. In the gray matter. Six targets. I don't know what that is. Okay. Farmer's market tomorrow. Maybe a spin in the low tide in the afternoon like today.